React finally launched their new documentation and took it out of beta recently, which is amazing because the new docs are so much better than the old docs. But there's one massive problem with the new documentation, and this problem makes it more difficult for every single person to learn React. If you haven't worked with React before or you know very little about React, this problem in the React docs is going to make your learning journey just that much harder. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And to get started, all I have is the home page of the React documentation open. I'll link it down in the description for you. But obviously, if we're just starting out learning React, obviously clicking Learn React is going to make the most sense. So if we click here, it brings us to the Quick Start documentation. Now this page is great. It explains tons of concepts in React with really good examples. Overall, I really love this section of the documentation. But you'll notice there's nothing in here about how to actually install React or start working with React. It just jumps you right into like what React is and how all the things work inside of it. So I personally think you should start with the installation, but either way, we could click over on installation to figure out how we should get started with React. And you can see that there's a bunch of different ways to get started. They recommend just using something inside the browser so you don't have to install anything. Personally, I don't like this route just because you're not really using the full experience because obviously if you want to deploy something in production, you need to know how to install and use React on your own computer. So I'm not a huge fan of this route, but it's perfectly okay and usable. They also recommend this way where you can just download an HTML page with React being imported. Again, not a fan, but I'd recommend, you know, start a new React project. This makes the most sense. If you want to build an app, here we go. Let's click on this documentation. And this is where I have a large problem with the documentation. It says right here, if you want to build a new app or website using React, what you want to do is you're going to want to use one of the React powered frameworks. And they list a few down here. For example, you have Next, you have Remix, you have Gatsby, and it mentions a few other different alternatives as well. And this is great. I mean, if you want to build a large scale production application inside of React, it doesn't even have to be that large, it's just any type of production ready application in React, using a framework like Next.js is going to be an awesome way to do it because it includes things like routing, data fetching, and so on. They mentioned that in the documentation. But if you're just learning React and all you care about is actually learning React, there's nothing in here that is going to help you. Downloading and using Next means that now you have to learn Next and React at the same time, and it becomes really difficult to separate what's in Next and what's in React. This is another problem I find where people try to jump from no JavaScript skill right into learning React. It's hard to separate what is React specific and what is JavaScript specific. It's the same thing if you jump straight from JavaScript into Next.js. It's a really hard to separate what's React and what is Next.js. And fine, there's a lot of overlap between them. And for the most part, you may be working in Next.js. That's okay. And even if you know you'll only ever use Next.js and never use React on its own, it still makes it more difficult to learn React because now you have to learn all of React, which is already really confusing. And then on top of that, you have to learn all of Next.js at the exact same time. This is why personally, if you're just getting started learning React, I do not recommend using any framework at all. And instead, I recommend using Vite. Now they do mention, I will give them this, they do mention using something like Vite inside of this section right here on how to use React without a framework. And if you expand this, it gives you a really long explanation. And essentially it says, you should really not use this unless your app has really unusual constraints not served well by frameworks. I personally don't think that's a great reason not to use Vite or, you know, Parcel, whatever else you want to be using. It's essentially saying don't use this except for under very, very, very specific niche use cases that most people probably won't run into. And it's, you know, hidden away inside of this drop down to even be able to see it. And you have to scroll all the way to the bottom just to get a recommendation. Honestly, if you're building a larger scale application, use Next. That makes a lot of sense. But if you're learning React, the best way to learn React is to use just React and nothing else. And I think Vite personally is the best way to do that. So I would recommend using Vite with React. And then once you have a React app up and running on your computer in Vite, you can follow along with the documentation completely. And it's going to be so much easier because if you have a Next application, you have all that other Next related code in there. And it can become really difficult to follow along with learning React when you have all that other code in the way. I believe so strongly that the best way to learn React is by breaking it down and learning it on its own first before jumping into a framework that I built my entire React course, which literally just launched yesterday around the idea of using Vite and learning React on its own before you jump into a framework like Next.js. As you can see, the content in this course covers everything you need to know about React, and then it jumps into some more complex topics like security, testing, clean code, best practices, that kind of stuff, before finally, after learning everything there is to know about React, jumping into the world of Next.js and figuring out how to build applications with Next.js. I personally believe the best way to learn something is to simplify it as much as possible, as you can already tell by my channel name. So with my React course, I tried to simplify everything by learning just React. And at the beginning, it's just learning small sections of React 
and slowly adding more and more and more on until you're finally ready to jump into Next.js and you can build applications with confidence. Now, if that sounds interesting to you and you want to learn in a simplified way, I highly recommend you go down in the description and click on the link to my React course. It launched just yesterday, like I mentioned, but it's only going to be available for one week from the launch date. So it's only got six more days after the day of this video going live. And the reason I'm doing that is because I only currently have the first half of the course finished. The second half of the course I'm going to be working on over the next coming weeks and months. And I'm going to be releasing that as I go to anyone that purchases the course. So if you purchase the course now, you're not only going to get it at a severely discounted rate, but you're also going to be able to access the new content as soon as I finish recording it and uploading it for you. So you get early access and a discounted rate. But again, it's only going to be up for a week before I take it down. And then in a few months, when I finish the entire course, it'll be back up permanently. So if you're watching this video after the fact, I would recommend still clicking on that link, checking out the course. It may be fully finished and released by then. And if not, I'll have an email field where you can sign up and I'll let you know as soon as it releases. Now, I know economically it may not make sense for you to buy a course at this time, so I want to give you some free alternatives to my course as well. The React documentation, like I mentioned, is actually really, really good if you just don't use Next and instead use Beat if you're first starting out learning React. The rest of the documentation is really good and really helpful. Also, I obviously have tons of free videos on YouTube on React, and I actually have a completely free React Hooks specific course that you can check out. It'll be linked in the description as well. That course only covers the React Hooks. It covers all of them, but that's the only thing it covers, so it requires you to at least have some base level of React before you take that course. With that said, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you are at all interested in my React course, I highly recommend you check it out before it closes down so you can get into that early bird discount.